Hey everyone, Steve Boland here, and if you caught last week's video, you saw me go through all of the equipment on my 125 gallon display tank. Well this week, I'm going to go through my 90 gallon display tank that sits right across from it, and just give you another overview of all the equipment and tell you why I have it on here and what's going on. So this is actually more of a grow out tank, though these fish are getting pretty big and several of them probably will be moving over to the 125 any day now. This tank I also bought new, it's an Aquion 90. Bought it brand new actually at a store. And let me flip this light on so we can take a look at some of the equipment. This stand I got from someone on Craigslist. It is the sort of the standard 90 gallon, four foot pine stand that you see a lot of the time, but they're really nice. And then I bought this matching canopy for it. Again, it's like the stock 90 gallon canopy that opens like this. Works really well. But let me go ahead and take that off. So on top of this tank, the light that I use is this eBay LED. I will link to this down in the description. And as with last week's overview, any product or video, previous video of mine that I talk about, I will link to down in that description. These lights are very inexpensive, but they do a great job. They look really great. People ask me all the time, what light are you running on that tank? It's just this little, it's a three foot light on a four foot tank, but it makes dark corners and the fish don't mind at all. And then again, I have this old four foot strip light sitting on here, similar to my 125. It's really almost more acting like a blocker of light to the back of the tank, but then sometimes I'll flip it on usually when I'm cleaning or sometimes when I'm taking pictures it actually helps a lot uh, because the light that you have on your tank to enjoy it day to day and the light that you want on there when you're taking photos of your fish are often very different unfortunately also running that same drip system on this tank you can see that here dripping steadily into the tank which is awesome And then on this tank, similar to the other one, is this eShops overflow box. It's actually the same model of overflow box. And again, I just use this one because it has the dual tubes here, just for backup. And then that goes down and, and flows down into my basement with all the other tanks into the drain system. But it works great. Really helps for the uh, health of your fish. One thing that I forgot to talk about on the 125 is the heater controller. And I have to kind of tape these to the top so that they don't come off. These, uh, these heater controller sensors are not long enough, unfortunately. Uh, but that's a great thing to run on every tank. Again, did a video about that. Um, it's a Finex Max 300 heater controller that prevents you from having an accidental uh, overheating of your tank if your heater malfunctions so that's really nice it also helps you set a constant temperature if you have more than one heater as I do on the other tank this tank I only have the one that's really it for the top of the tank other than uh, these parts of the filters which I'll show you here in a second let me give you a little more light here Okay, so I run two filters on this. I run this Sun Sun 304B, which is a good filter. It doesn't, uh, it's not quite as quiet as I would like it to be. It does tend to rattle a bit, which I have to like open it up and fiddle with it. Maybe that's just this one. Maybe that's just an issue that I'm having, but it's still kind of frustrating. It runs through, like my other tank, it runs through an external external heater, a DIY external heater, just PVC, but that's attached to the output. You can see up there that is the heater controller back there. And this is an FX5. So between these two filters, it's a lot of filtration for a 90. These FX5s, I got this one used, they're so pricey, the FX5 or FX6, buying them new. But they are great filters. I don't love any filter with trays, and of course both of the filters on this tank have trays. 
I just don't feel like they're necessary. I feel like they take up space in there unnecessarily. It's kind of annoying, but still the flow on these is great. I really like that the Sun Sun has black filter intakes and spray bars. Talked about that last week with the Eheims. Love Eheims, but that's the one thing about them that's a bummer is those green spray bars that you that I feel like I have to get aftermarkets. And then of course the FX5 has the standard intake and the output is up there in the corner. And I just point that up at the surface to get a little surface agitation. I don't run any kind of uh, power head or anything on this tank like I do on the other one just because I have that. And then the overflow box is up there in the other corner, so it does get some nice surface skimming, which I really, really like. So overall, I love this tank too. It's hard because this is this started out as you know just a grow out tank. It wasn't supposed to be any kind of awesome display tank, but the fish in here, as these males have colored up, you know there are females in here, and as these males have colored up, it's just really become a joy to look at this tank and this tank I can actually see more easily from my living space like if I'm standing in the kitchen I can just look over in here and see it and it's it's pretty awesome I'm hesitant to move some of these guys over because I just like looking at them from this from this direction but I guess I'm just gonna have to do bite the bullet and do that and knowing me I'll get more fish and uh, as some of the fish that I'm breeding downstairs grow up maybe I'll move some of them up here so that is all of the equipment on the 90. So again, if I forgot anything, or if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, as always, if this is your first time here at my channel, I would love to have you subscribe because each week I bring you a new video sharing my experiences in the aquarium hobby. I give updates on my tanks, review products, show you DIY projects, and share tips and tricks to help you take your tanks to the next level. Hit subscribe to follow along. Have a good one.